Hey, it's Johnny Q, and I'm in Valley Lodge again today for another virtual tour. Today we're at 36643 Buckboard, Section 2 of Valley Lodge. This is a neat property. It'll be on the MLS here in just a couple of days. So by the time you see this video, it should be on the MLS. So I don't have an MLS number for you today, but it's on the blog, it's on the website, and by now it should be in the MLS, right? Five acres, huge place, all fence and cross fence. There are horse people, so it's great for horses. We got two barns, updated home. It's got a pool, huge workshop. You're gonna love this place. So we're gonna do a quick, bit, quick virtual tour for you. Couple of quick uh, stats. This home in the tax records show about 1,800 square foot, but the appraisal that the they had done uh, about a decade ago, but it's the appraisal was showed about 2,700 square foot. I'm not quite sure how the tax record's got 1,800 square foot, so you'll be able to see it's a good size house, about 2,700 square foot. It's three to four bedrooms, possibly five bedrooms, and we'll show you that on the inside. Two and a half full, or two and a half baths, and again, pool, five acres. So come on, let's take a look at the front of the house right quick. Valley Lodge is a it's a country neighborhood. Most of the homes up up here are in the one acre or more size. The homes out here are, the neighborhood was formed back in the 60s or 70s originally, but there's new construction going on out here. This home is, this, this neighborhood is a very unique neighborhood in the fact that they're not all old homes and they're not all brand new homes and it's definitely not full of cookie cutters. The neighborhood is pretty close knit. They have Easter parties and parades and the whole bit. You can check out online at some of the stuff. It's very interesting. Most of the people that live out here really love this neighborhood and I think you will too. Let's go on ahead and get a little bit closer and check this house out. From this angle you can see a, a pretty good picture of this front yard. Big mature trees, long driveway, Brick home, nice flagstone drive, okay? But here's what I want to show you also. Look at all the parking spot you've got. Plenty of room for RVs or boats or trucks or whatever you have, a lot of room here. Back here is the shop and garage, huge shop. They've got another area over here that used to be a garage many, many years ago and they changed that into a nice covered patio area. Come on into the backyard. All right, look at this. What a great time for the summertime here in Valley Lodge. Nice in-ground pool with cool deck around the edge. And this is in the back garden. You've got good sun as the summer sun comes up over the back over here, giving you a lot of nice spots for a, a Sunday day par barbecues, parties. Follow me, camera. Look at this. This is the back deck, all cool deck, except back over here you have more flagstone. Over here, look at this. Nice citrus tree, I believe this is tangelos, but I'm not sure, don't hold me to that. Could be lemons or oranges, I'm not positive. I haven't had a taste yet. Let's go check out the barns. Just on the east side of the house, we have one of the cross-fenced areas and two barns. And we have a horse that's going to join us too, it looks like. So like I said, it is horse ready. If you got horses, cows, whatever, this is a very horse-friendly neighborhood and it's a very horse-friendly uh, property too. Over here, you'll see the big iron barn, steel barn. It is completely done up inside with good stalls and a tack room. And as you can see, we even have a horse. Unfortunately, the horse isn't going to get to go with it. Can you, can you see him? <laughs> she keeps horses now, so it is really horse ready. Let's walk over here. Follow me this way, camera. It is fenced and it's cross fenced. Over here we have a, another almost a full acre, acre and a quarter or so over on this side. 
completely fenced in goes all the way up here to the road and it's fenced in over that way too behind us we have the older barn this is the newer one I just showed you over here is the older one with another three or four stalls it's not quite as good a shape as the steel barn over here but it's still very usable let's go back over and take a look on the inside of the house what do you say Front door, this is the entryway. I'm gonna show you a few little things inside the home. A lot, of the, a lot of the home's character you'll get from the photographs, but I did wanna show you a little bit during the virtual tour on the, the video. First thing I wanna show you is this big, huge brick hearth and fireplace. Um, the owner wanted me to make sure that y'all knew that this, th this fireplace was built the old fashioned way back when they used to put a lot of materials into it. So this is a true solid brick fireplace not one of the ones with a little aluminum chute that goes up so it's a very good condition nice brick fireplace this way you'll see the the dining room and if you'll notice in the photos got a huge window out here to overlook the countryside and back over this way is the kitchen now come on over this way we'll show you a little bit more okay this is the staircase that's going to go upstairs and we'll take you up there in just a minute to give you a quick view from upstairs out back this is one of two doors that take us out back to the big pool area I showed you just a few minutes ago. But I have a special treat for us today. Come on with me, right over this way. Steph, how are you doing today? Terrific, how are you? Good, good. This is Stephen Steer. He is the owner here at the property, and any time that an owner will agree to get on camera with me, I love it because potential buyers love to be able to talk a little bit to the owner of the home, right? And although you can't maybe question him directly, I'm going to throw a few of the questions that I know you're probably wondering because everybody asks the same type of questions here and, and Stefan's going to answer them, mm -hmm. course, I think. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Good? Beautiful day. It is, isn't it? Beautiful we got some day. sunshine, a little bit of clouds, but it's, it's mostly nice. The first thing everybody wants to ask me when they call me out here is, did the home flood? Because we live in Houston, we live in an area that floods. So yes, the home has flooded. In fact, let me give you a little bit of history on that because I know you're going to want to know. This neighborhood, Valley Lodge, originally called Brazos Valley and, and, and then adopted into the name Valley Lodge, was formed back in the early 60s, I Correct. believe. And this was one of the original homes out here. Correct. What year was this home built in the early 60s sometime? Early 60s. I early think 60, 60s. 61, I think. Now, Steph corrected me on that because the tax records show 1972. So earlier I may have said 1972. Steph heard me say that and he said, no, no, no. I th this home was probably built in the early 60s sometimes. So the tax records are probably uh, incorrect on that. And just like they were incorrect on the square footage, I believe, too. Correct. Yeah, they showed about 1,800. Your yes. old appraisal showed about 2,700 yes. or close to it. And you believe that's probably more accurate. And walking the house, I'd, I'd have to agree, it's a, it's a big house. Back to the flood. In the last half century or so, this neighborhood is it, it's flooded two or three times. And the worst one, by a long shot, was during the, the huge Harvey hurricane flood. Flooded so many homes in, 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 in all of the Houston, all of the Gulf Coast, really. Uh, and and it, it, it flooded this home as well. How much water did we get in here? 36 inches. You got 36 inches. 36 inches of water. So you got water that went up to just about yeah. close to this. Almost the top of this counter. Almost right to here. the top of this counter. And this was about, what, two years ago or so? That was about? 2017. 2017? Yeah. No, longer than that. Time's flying. So it did get flooded during Harvey like a lot of other homes did. Obviously, they tackled it, they took care of it, and did everything that was necessary to make it very livable. What did you need to do to, after a flood like that? What did you do to the house to make it livable again? It looks perfect. Take the drywall off up to four feet, re-insulate it, put the drywall back, check all the wiring, replace all the power outlets that went underwater. How did they dry it out? Did they? And they I mean, a lot of people get worried about things like mold and stuff like that if it's not dried out quickly. I assume they dried it out pretty quickly. They dried it out. It takes about two weeks, so it's not a big, it's not a quick process. Mm -hmm. But they had dehumidifiers throughout the house and the air conditioning running. It was icy cold in here, but uh, 
They got it dried out. And then they re drywalled it, repainted it. A, a new dry, new new sheetrock, mud it, new new paint. And the flooring, yep. you just had to clean up. I understand that you've got a Oof. ceramic tile floor that's made to look like engineered hardwood. So it's, it's, it's hard. basically waterproof. It's basically waterproof. It went through the flow. We mopped it clean. It took a while to mop it, <laughs> but it's clean. It's the same floor. Tell me this. Why would you leave this place? I've talking. I've, I've spoken with neighbors here a lot of years, and people tend to absolutely love this neighborhood when they get in here. Why I, would you leave I, this place? I love this neighborhood, and I love my neighbors. The reason I'm leaving is I'm getting close to retiring. I have property in Weatherford with ten acres, with horses. That's my cool. daughter lives on it. Your daughter. Lives and here. we're going up there to be, all be together. It makes sense. And. Uh, enjoy life together for anybody thinking about living here in valley lodge what would you say is the, the best thing about this home or this neighborhood the peace and quiet is nice but the neighbors and the neighborliness of the neighbors is what really makes this community great everybody looks out for everybody Everybody cares about everybody. We have community picnics in the park two or three times a year, COVID permitting. <laughs> but we have parades at Christmas. We have parades on 4th of July where neighbors are in the parade riding their lawnmowers or their golf carts. And kids can ride their golf carts on the streets around here. It's, it's great to see the kids outside playing. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm not going to keep you. I know that you probably have a lot more important things to do than sit here in front of our camera. But well, thanks for coming by. I, I thank you very much for, for, for joining us on My the, pleasure. the camera. Um, we're going to go around and look at a few other parts of the home, and thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. We're standing here in the kitchen. I just wanted to keep a couple of things in the kitchen right quick. Notice that we've got... And most of this stuff, or a lot of this stuff, was put in new after the flood, so that's a bonus too. So you got a lot of new things and a couple of older things. But this is all granite. Notice both sides granite. True wood. We got stainless steel appliances over here too. I do want to mention that the, the refrigerator, um, they said, they don't care if it goes with a house. You may just want to put it in the garage and put your own refrigerator here. This refrigerator was not replaced after the flood. They did have it cleaned out and checked out. It may even have a little bit of a leak to it. They said not too much, but a little bit. But the refrigerator is uh, it, it's usable, and it can go with a house. Probably put it out in the garage if you want to, they said. But they're using it. They love it. Um, but it's going to stay with the house if you want it. If, they don't, if you don't want it, we'll take care of it. So let's go upstairs. We're upstairs here and we have a couple of rooms. This is the first one I want to show you. This is uh, the owner's, one of the owner's um, offices that they're using as a photography studio and a personal office right now. It's a big room, vaulted ceilings. I don't remember the exact measurements. It will be in the listing so you can look at it there. Over here you'll see we've got a big built-in desk. Let's go down here to the other end of the hall. Let me give you a little bit of a background on this. This is the master bedroom and it's upstairs because that's what they're using as their master bedroom now. This is what the, the Sears wanted to do many years ago. This home was probably designed as a smaller home 40 or 50 years ago with just a master bedroom downstairs. And you'll check out the photos, you'll see a couple of photos of, of I mean, a couple of bedrooms down. One of those bedrooms are pretty big with the back door that opens up to the pool. That could possibly was originally the builder's thought as the master bedroom, and these were secondary rooms up here. The owners, the Sears, now, they, some many years ago, they decided to make this big room their master bedroom and turn this in here 
into their master bath in a big dressing room. The original specs on this home 40 or 50 years ago said it was five bedroom. It's really a four bedroom, three to four bedrooms now. It's set up for three bedrooms with the big office that we were just in where the photography studio was that could be the fourth bedroom. And right in here, I'm about to show you a dressing room now that originally was a small bedroom and could probably be turned into such now for a nursery or, or fifth bedroom if you really needed it. Small fifth bedroom, but hey, the potential is there. But as the Sears have it right now, we've got the master bedroom. Their master bedroom is upstairs. Two secondary bedrooms are on the ground floor, one towards the front of the house and one that leads to the back uh, patio and pool area with a set of French doors. So come on in we'll take a look at the dressing room and the master bath real quick. Come on. The photos will probably show this a little bit better but I did want to show you the upstairs master bath. Framed mirror, granite, and over here we have a big finished shower. Come on in here let's look at this dressing room. This was the what's now a dressing room could possibly be a fifth bedroom taking all these down there of course they're gonna leave these up here for you so these are a big closeted area so there's gonna be a big dress and you can see it's big so it's a uh, plenty of room in here whether you want to keep it what it is or turn it into a nursery or a fifth bedroom choices are up to you come on okay we're in the garage and workshop now you're gonna love this garage at least if you're anything like me you'll love this garage huge lots of workspace but before I walk in here I want to show you this right here this is a whole house water filter and UV the uh, sanitizer so of course we have well water you're all on well and septic out here in the country this is well water that comes in but this is sort of unique not too many people have this set up but they've got your water comes in goes through a multiple level filtration system Finishing it off by UV rays that absolutely psh, zap and clean that water before it ever comes to the house. This is for your whole house. That's pretty awesome. Come on in here. Let's take a look at this workshop. This is the workshop. It's also a three bay or possibly even a four bay garage if you want to use it as a big garage. But it was converted into a workshop uh, years ago. Steph is a woodworker as you can see from all the woodworking tools that are around here. Of course he'll be taking all that with him. Sorry. But it is a huge beautiful workshop. You can set up just about any kind of personal shop here. You're going to like this. This goes on around the corner a little bit more and in, into the backyard. But I did want you to make sure you got to look at this workshop. This is my kind of workshop, much bigger than the one I have. Okay. One last thing I wanted to make sure I showed you. Hopefully this is picking up well on the camera because we've got some pretty extreme contrast going on because I'm in what was probably a carport or a semi-garage at one time many years ago. In fact, you've got a garage door here and, and, and frames for a garage door here. The owners many years ago have, and they have been known to shut this sometimes but for the most part they've got all their furniture set up out here and it's a big covered carport area I mean a covered patio area that leads straight to the pool hopefully you can see that with the camera but this is the big pool in the backyard area so you've got a big open area back here for your guests and stuff and then inside here room for picnic tables patio furniture and such is a huge covered patio area it's a fantastic idea they came up with it makes use of this space wonderfully so y'all have to come down and see this house 832-361-8055 832-361-8055 or have your agent set up a showing through showingtime.com or through my website fm359.com love to see you here the neighbors would love to have you here Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching.